let me show you this little calendar we've been working on here. This is uh, thanks to thanks to thanks to my sons, Abel Costa Quali, the condor, which most of you know, and my son uh, Ernesto Che Yeicoat. Yeicoat means three serpent. He was born on day three serpent. Something very interesting. December 21st will be the day three serpent. So he's pretty excited. He's going to be joining me in Chichen Itza to welcome the sun that morning when he comes up. Okay. But him and Costa Quali, they helped me put this together. After 20 years of my work, my study, when they came into my life, returning to back into my life. You know, we were able to put this thing together. What we did here, all these images that you see around here, all these images are original images. They come out of the ancient codices. This codice is called the Codice Borgia, that I always say is being held hostage today at the Vatican Library. But you know, we'll rescue it someday. But meanwhile, we're gonna use it. So all these images are from the codices that the Europeans have dated at least 2,000 years old, okay? But between these images and the calendar system that we see here, there's 1,500 years between these two images here, okay? And the calendar system is a culmination. That's how we can say that. It's a culmination of all the calendar systems. So we have here all these images. It's what has been called the pantheon of a thousand gods of the Aztec, uh, the Aztec pantheon, they say. But you know what? Not one of these, none of one of these names is God. None of their functions is of God. These are natural elements and concepts. But it does tell you how to walk in 13-day cycles, 13-day cycles that we talk about. So we have the 13 day cycles here, there's 10, and 10 on this side, that's 20 times 13. That gives you 260 days, which is equivalent to the gestation period of a human being. That's a human cycle. So we're just a number, and that's reality. You know, I'm number one, by the way, you know, because I was born on the day one flint, okay? And I can see my 13 day cycle right here. Maybe you can see that, it's right here. In my 13 day cycle, when I learned this 13 day cycle, I found out there was a lot of potential in this little piece of time. You know, it had nothing to do with me. I didn't put it there. I just came in at that time. But if there was potential there, then I wanted some of that potential. Okay? In other words, I've had access to it. And everybody does too. So everybody's born in one of these 13 pieces of time. Because it's not about us, you know? I say, no difference if you're, you know, George Bush's cousin or Osama Bin Laden's brother. It doesn't make a difference here, you know? It's not about what you look like or where you come from. It's about humanity. And we're all in this together, okay? So what we did here, we call it the ancient Mexica chronological system. A human experience towards personal transcendence with global consequences. Because we believe that we can become responsible with all the potential we possess. Okay? So this is a new calendar. It's been called the calendar that's going to be take us to 2012 and beyond. Because we're hoping people come back together and start using the system. You know, the calendar does not end. Here we have 13 numbers from 1 to 13. So numbers are related to these images. Today we're in the, the day Olin. And the number is eight. So if you go back eight days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you come to the right here to the dog. You know? So when you see the dog, you can come and find him. And here he is right there, the dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's Olin. So we know exactly where we're living in at this piece of time. Now one thing that really blew our mind is the fact that we found these images up here on top. These right here. They go, there's 20 pieces of them. We found those in three pages out of the codex. Okay, and guess what? That's a 24 hour piece of time. These are minutes. So they're traveling in 72 minute cycles. So there's a clock here. Okay, and there were times for creativity, activity, reflection, activity, and creativity. And it repeats itself. So not only did they know how to respect time, but they knew how to take advantage of it. We say win it over without abusing it. Okay, so they're divided by four. So there's 18 minute segments right here in this calendar. You know, if you go to our website, aztecayolocali.com, you'll find that we're moving in these segments. You can see that happening today. So we want everybody to use it. We're not trying to tell them to become into our culture. We just tell them, hey, we got a clock that really works. You know, you want to use the best clock in the world? Get back to the system. Everybody's got their own culture, their own traditions, their own, their own uh, wise and ancient wisdoms. Use them, respect them and protect them and share them if you like. But meanwhile, get back into the rhythm of the earth. That's what these grandfathers did. And they never said, by the way, it's only for Montecasuma or Pancho Villa or Masatsin. They said a human being will walk in his mother's womb 13 times 20 until he's developed into a human being. So you're born in a particular cycle. So if it's important to make you develop into a human being, then why wouldn't it be important when you are a human being? I say, let's get back to the rhythm of the earth. I wish you a lot of energy, a good road, and my heart becomes happy when I see you. Tlazo